three years ago when COVID first started, you'll have to excuse me if I get upset because I am. We, my husband and I, um, my daughter was distressed. She lived in Worcestershire. So we rang, we thought we had to do everything right. We phoned them and they said we couldn't go. It wasn't an essential journey. So they said they would make the people, the police in London would go and check she was okay. We didn't hear anything. So we waited all day. I rang the police again and they said, just wait, we'll get back to you. So at some point later that day, they got back to us and our daughter had killed herself. And we couldn't go there to see her. And then even on the day that only three of us could go to the funeral, we, the police told us because we couldn't make another visit, we had to empty her flat the same day as the funeral. And then we came back and we saw those people smirking saying it wasn't a party. We heard all the things that him saying, it wasn't a party, we didn't do this. You are so accountable. My daughter was dead while they were doing their parties. And I will never, never, ever forgive the government for doing that. Never in my life. And all those people who say people need to move on, how can we move on when we're in hell? every minute of our lives because we lost our daughter when we could have got there. It's just wicked. They're it's trivial, trivial, blathering.